Zipper is his opponent. The Zipper would be the new Blood Air champion right now. What? The Zipper would be the new Blood Air champion right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like he was struggling a little bit. And it looks like he's got something to say. We know that he's been having a lot of turmoils, a lot of issues with Pure Fury, Jeff Klaus, and JJ Hughes recently. to be a these two men so much bad blood they're just going back and forth this isn't even a match this is just a beating a wicked wanted a fight and he's getting it there's rick cartier JJ, Wicked, this does not need to happen. I don't want to see it. And it might be a good match, but as friends, I don't think these people want to see it. I have known you two since you broke into the business. You are the best of friends, and this does not need to happen. What's in your eyes? This is definitely boiling over, not be just between JJ and Wicked, but Rick's getting a little frustrated now between these two. Wait a minute here. These three now looking back at each other. And oh! Oh! And the referee's going for the bell. We got a triple threat match here. An impromptu triple threat match. The IWE Gladiator Champion, A Wicked, JJ Hughes, old school Rick Garnier. We have a main event here for the ages. Definitely going to be a huge match between these three. One, two, and A Wick and breaking up that pin from Rick Cartier. Yeah. It's really the frustration between JJ and Wick and boiling into Rick Cartier. Rick grew up on the road, well, not grew up, but he's traveled the road with these guys for so long. He hates the fact that these two just are been beating each other, that greed has been forcing them between them. What's interesting about this? How this has played out is Rick Cartier came out to try to help friends, to try to uh, tie the broken bonds that they've had. But now he finds himself in a triple threat match where if he pulls off the victory here, he might see himself in contention for the Gladiator Championship. The former Gladiator Champion, shortest reigning champion in IWE history, and the longest losing streak in IWE history. Let's, okay, that's, that's also the longest winning streak in IWE. Debatable. What do you mean debatable? Oh, still kicking out Rick Carde from this match, and Carde, you just see he's growing frustrated from this. Wicked and Hughes just don't want him in any part of this. This is a fight between former brothers, former friends, and Dropkick sends Hughes straight through the second rope. Wicked now. What is Wicked doing? to the top rope, up and down. Showing where he's comfortable, flying high, taking out both old school Rick Cartier and JJ Hughes. We're taking a quick look at that again. My goodness, this is absolutely ridiculous in the slow mo style. 
I mean, Wicked putting it all on the line against JJ Hughes and Riccardi in this triple threat contest. And really taking it to Hughes right now, and again, knocking Cartier off the apron, making sure he doesn't get back in the ring for this match. And a leg lariat from A. Wicked in for the cover. One, two, and Cartier trying to get back in the ring, but A. Wicked broke his own cover to make sure Cartier did not get involved. This kid has not been thinking straight. He's been getting such a big ego since winning the Gladiator title. It's not even just ego, just his emotions are running wild with what's been happening between him and Hughes. He can't think straight. Oh! Foot straight in the stomach. You're looking wicked now. He's gasping for air. And now adding injury to more injury. Those strikes right to the chest. And again, Cartier. He just can't seem to get himself involved in this match. And it just seems to be building the frustration for him. I Meanwhile, well, we were having an excellent match just between these two. Oh, and the Hughes effect. The Hughes effect from J.J. Hughes in for the cover. And Cartier breaking it up. Cartier finally being able to get back in this match. Right when it looked like Hughes had it won. Apparently, I said that too soon. Promptly thrown right back out. Wicked. Oh! It looked like he was going for a cover, decided not to. He wants to make sure Hughes is out for good at this point. He's going to his comfort zone. He's going to the top rope. Oh, and Hughes stopping that Hughes promptly. Playing it smart, knocking him down, and he got hit in this area no one wants to get hit. Completely legal in this kind of situation with top ropes. And a chop. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Cardi's taking advantage, whatever's going on. Wicked was climbing to the top. What do we got going on here? Oh! And all three men flying flat on the mat after that ridiculous Tower of Doom style maneuver. We had a spider German suplex from J.J. Hughes on Rick Cardi, but Cardi delivered a huge superplex from the top rope. <laughs> I mean, it's no wonder all three of these individuals are down. And you just got to know, considering the Gladiator champions in here, J.J. Hughes and now the former Gladiator champion, Rick Cardi, that, oh, he was like, both men are pinning Rick Cardi and Cardi kicks out. I was gonna say, you know Pure Fury Jeff Klaus must be watching this match at home, taking notes from JJ and Wicked. Oh! <laughs> and Rick cleaning house right now. Jesus! <clears throat> these strikes coming from these competitors have bad blood written all over it. Right into the corner went Hughes. And now Cartier is sending Wicked into the opposite corner. It looks like he's got plans. <laughs> oh, taking out Hughes, backing it up, and then taking out Wicked. In for the cover. One, two. Oh. And it looked like Wicked kicked out and hit Lars. Rick Cardi could have potentially won this match, but the referee was out of position there. She was out of position because she was ensuring us that the pr a previous oh! Oh! was a two count, but a super kick from A. Wicked to Hughes. Cardi, though, he's still fighting into A. Wicked. Go for the caddy ride. And it's it strong. One, two, three. Rick Cardi wins with a blast from the pass. Victory coming for Rick Cartier. A 
pinning the Gladiator Champion. That's what I was going to say. He just pinned the Gladiator Champion. Hey, Wicked. That just means far more getting the victory versus getting it over J.J. Hughes. I mean, at this point, you can only assume that there, at no point does the bad blood stop here between Hughes and Wicked. None of that ended. And then on top of that, Cartier now picking up a win over Wicked puts himself in that title picture. And now that three-way dance we had previously is looking like a fatal four-way. It's absolutely true. With that said, A Wicked is still Gladiator Champion. That was a non-title match. Absolutely. With that said, thank you all for joining us here for Battlezone TV. I am Tommy Danger Z, and I'm happy to be your host this evening. I can't wait to see you next episode. And I am the professional Sean Lathrop. Good night, good fight. Yeah.